What's up, Gemini gang? Happy Wednesday, aka Mercury Day. This is the day of a Gemini, right? <laughs> and Virgos. Virgos are Mercury too, all right? All Gemini placements, take what resonates. Leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. Personal readings are in the description box, you guys, on the website, lovepeacegenesis.com. You guys are greatly appreciated, okay? Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes. And thank you for being here, y'all. Okay, let's see what's going on with you today, Gemini's. All right, so what fell face down, I'm not gonna take these, but wow, this is, I've been picking this up for you guys since forever. <laughs> spirit has a very, very, very great sense of humor, but again, your spirit guides are usually going to um, match your personality, okay? So I know, I definitely know my uh, spirit guides match my personality. So we have the chaser, mm -hmm. fear of abandonment, chasing and codependencies. And then we have watching, looking, perception and stalking. So spirit is telling me that I need to take those. I wasn't going to because I'm like, look, I'm so damn tired of, of the stalking and the watching. I'm sick. I'm just sick of it at this point. Um, <clears throat> love call is on the bottom. OK, so. Let's see what's going on, Gemini's. This time is coming out clear as day. Somebody's watching you, um, Gemini's. Okay, could be someone that's seeing long term with you. We've seen this wedding rings card again. I think this came out yesterday in the collective read. Uh, in the same placement too, I believe. Um, union and marriage, soul connection, everlasting love and devotion. And here on the bottom of the deck, we have coffee cups. So someone may want to meet for you. Meeting and talking. Uh, savoring the moment, feeling elevated and building friendships. So, is somebody about to become the chaser? Let's see, but somebody's watching you, uh, Gemini's, which I've been picking up in the readings, the Gemini reads, the collective reads. Uh, it's just, it's just getting ridiculous at this point, child. <laughs> All right, so y'all know I got to be careful what I show on the cards. Can't show no, both of these cards have nudity on them. So we have um, the Ace of Cups here on the bottom. Let me get my uh, Rose Quartz crystals. But we have uh, the Lavos <laughs> and the Worlds comes out. Heavy reconciliation vibes. That's crazy. Someone may also be um, watching you from like a distance too. Like someone may travel for work or something. And I'm thinking like uh, maybe a truck driver or something like that um, may be watching you as they travel or whatnot. But yeah, somebody's looking to like, wanting to see if they wanna make their move. I kinda got this in a collective reading too recently. Um, somebody's kinda like sitting back watching, waiting. All right, y'all know I gotta cover these up. All right, yeah, cool. So, uh, wow, this is how we're starting off, Gemini's. So, um, so you could be the chaser because now the Gemini, the lovers is Gemini. So you could be the chaser, uh, Gemini's, but it could simply be someone will, will be chasing you. Um, yeah, I feel like it's, it's after, I feel heavily like, let's see, I right, before I say anything. <laughs> The Chariots, yes. Mm -hmm. Also seeing the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Wands um, with the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. Some of you can be dealing with a Capricorn. I see Cancer. Now the world can be any of the fixed signs because you have the fixed signs here. Uh, what other card is like this? The Wheel of Fortune um, has the fixed signs. But the world also has its own meaning, which is Saturn. The world is Saturn, so which can be Aquarius or Capricorn, okay? Um... Somebody is coming for your ass, Gemini's. Like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> we'll see if if my um, my intuitive pickup anything comes out uh, pertaining to that. I think I'm gonna say it anyway. I said it in another reading. Wow, Ace of Wands. Ooh. Tower. Now y'all know how I feel about the Ace of Wands in the Tower. 
um that is a very physical masculine energy um again the tower can is very phallic okay for the younger viewers you have to look that up okay the ace of wands is also very phallic all right so someone may have this heavily on their minds uh gemini's the meetup could be turning into that um i also feel like two gemini's you may want this from this person all right so i'm just going i'm gonna leave it at that all right i want the reading to be a little peachy okay so um yeah love it i'm seeing you guys meeting up i'm seeing um, this person kind of wanting to bring that, that fire back, bring that spark back into the connection. Um, now what I was going to say is, Gemini's, you may have someone in your energy that you, um, you don't even really think about like that, Gemini's. There could be more than one person here, which I, I got that during meditation uh gemini's i know that's not gonna resonate with all of you guys okay child <laughs> the eight of swords oh we mm. so me dealing with a with an aquarius i'm seeing the page of wands the king of swords i gotta make sure it's safe before i show you guys and the king of wands I told you, Gemini's. Okay, so I'm seeing the King of Swords, the Page of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Fool card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I feel like both energies, though, is someone you've known for a long time. I'm telling you, one of these people you forgot about, and like in another reading that I did for you, you forgot about this person. Or I won't say you forgot about them, but it's not really somebody you're checking for. Um, it could have just been like a fling you had to like someone that you uh, had like a one night stand with. Take that how it resonates. <laughs> Take that how it resonates with you, uh, Gemini's. But it's like somebody is like kind of popping up in your energy um, after having been gone for a long time. Again, it's not going to resonate with all of you guys, okay? I keep hearing Capricorn too. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. Somebody that just never forgot you over the years. Um, you put that thing on them, nice. <laughs> Seven of Wands. Mm hmm. I'm seeing the Six of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the High Priestess, and the Magician here on the bottom. So, and I see the Devil here sticking out. I told you, some of you, this is a cap. That somebody that's just has always kind of like thought about you. Um, Gemini's child. Now, I'm not saying the person on your mind isn't stalking you because I see them as well. So there is definitely um, them stalking you, them wanting you to themselves. Usually, when I see the lovers in the Eight of Swords, I get like someone wanting you to be bound to them in some way. Someone that just can't let you go, even if they've tried. Even if they try to release you or let you go, they just can't. Um, Gemini's. Someone may also like trying to plead their case too as to why they, um, why you should give them another chance or why you should um, come back or why you should let them back or whatever the case may be. Also like seeing the seven of wands here under this, this, uh, this stalking, this stalkerish card gets like this person doesn't want anyone else to come in and take you from them, Gemini's. Even if they're even if they're not even acting like that, even if they're not stepping up, this it's like they're just kind of watching to see like, you know, who else is in your life or who else could be in your life or who you're entertaining and child, please. Mm-hmm. The magician, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing the moon, the knight of pentacles, the knight of cups. I told y'all there's more than one energy here. Now, again, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but it is resonating with some of you guys. I've, I've, I've gone through some of the emails. <laughs> I live vicariously through you guys, okay? Because some of y'all, some of y'all stories, woo, child. <laughs> so we have the moon here, the Knight of Pentacles. Now, what's interesting is, if I were to put this down here, 
it would be like some type of secret rendezvous Gemini's I feel like you want or you are are wanting to have because when I pulled these cards like the second place was the high priestess so the high priestess would have ended up here so if something's secret about this meetup or this rendezvous or again it's just it may be something that you want you might be like fantasizing about someone too or someone's fantasizing about you uh gemini's <laughs> are you fucking kidding me are you kidding me gemini's mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. now i don't know which energy this is okay there's no other energy take this how it resonates okay baby <laughs> look um again I'm, I'm gonna try to keep this uh very pg okay um gemini somebody is wanting some type of like uh rendezvous with you i'll, I'll say that five of wands it's like <sighs> It's like they kind of want to seal the deal. Like to them, it's not real unless it is like it, it gets physical, if that makes sense. Um, for others of you, I feel like there may be someone else like outside of on your mind that is like wanting this. Like, but I feel like this is something that you've had or done with this person before. Like I said, it could have been someone that you had like a uh a one night stand or some type of friends with benefits or whatever the case may be uh and now they're like thinking about you too mm -hmm. either way it go gemini's this is a very um potent energy like i said it's it's very physical it's very sexual um like i said these these are very two very phallic cards which is interesting because we saw this when this came out and then we're seeing it again so like i said somebody is they're gonna be wanting to do more than talk so don't be fooled by this person talking about they want to meet up and talk and all this other stuff because that's not what they want all right they want you know put it down they want to put it down to nice so just be mindful of that i feel like they'll that's how they'll know it's real gemini's mm-hmm that's how they plan to beat out all the other competition too especially if you have like other options there's somebody else that you're seeing um gemini's yeah but this is this is a very competitive energy too so like i'm seeing a lot of a heavy heavy competitive energy so like somebody wanting to compete for you too again gemini's or a lot of you this is going to be more than one energy because you have some of you legit may have two people on your mind now especially if you watch that other reading um gemini's somebody wants it all with you are you kidding me but that two of pentacles is showing up here on the bottom <laughs> Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> you didn't put that whip appeal on somebody, honey. On more than one somebody. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to start chasing you. Ten of Cups. And I feel like, damn, because it could be either energy. Now, if you don't have two people, Gemini, just disregard that part, okay? But... Somebody's about to start chasing you. Mm-hmm. Somebody is really, really, really about to be tapped in, tuned in, uh, about to tap into this masculine energy. Now, take it how it resonates because um, that may not resonate with everyone, okay? Especially like the two people thing. Like, you may not have two people, but just be mindful of that, okay? Don't count yourself out because there's been many times where I get emails where people will count themselves out, right? And then they email me and they're like, oh my God, I heard from somebody that I haven't heard from in 15 years, like shit like that, um, Gemini's. And I feel like whoever this, whoever this was just like, like a, 
like a rendezvous or um like i said a one night stand i don't see like i don't feel like this is someone that you had like a full-blown relationship with this is someone you was just having fun with um you know y'all may have may have had like a really good physical connection and i feel like you either you or this person is desiring it again but i feel like it's you gemini's some of you are very physically deprived right now like mm -hmm, i kind of picked that up in another read too <clears throat> you both might be kind of you know backed up a little bit <laughs> okay so i am seeing the king here's that king of wands Gemini's the king of wands again I told you somebody if you have a fire sign watching you the three of cups I told you the temperance card mm -hmm. and we're seeing the hierophant here on the bottom so I'm seeing Leo or another fire sign I'm seeing Sag I'm seeing Scorpio heavy Scorpio because we see the tower here twice could be Aries as well uh heavy Gemini Virgo uh capricorn aquarius mm -hmm. you're gonna have somebody trying to compete for you compete for your love somebody is not about to let anyone else win you over or get you period just period <laughs> Now the threes, the, the three here, it doesn't necessarily have to be two people, but seeing this here, this card here, it kind of reminds me of that just by the imagery. But I also feel like um, with this three of cups here, the three of cups can be about like uh, uh, reunions and uh, get togethers and gatherings and things like that. So it, it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, involving other people or whatever. But I've been getting that story for you guys for a while. But I feel like someone just wants to come together with you. Somebody wants to, they may even like invite you out or invite you to like some type of family function of theirs. Um, ask you out on a date. Uh, something along the lines of that, um, Gemini's. But like I said, whatever meetup this person is wanting, they have, you know, they have something else on their mind. Not saying that that's all they want, because I don't feel like that's all they want. That might be all you want. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I feel like, you know, someone is, is wanting more, uh, but yeah, somebody's coming for you. I feel like, I feel like the, the runner is about to become the chaser, but you know, um, some of you, like I said, have either you will direct your energy to someone else or you have directed your energy, energy to someone else. It doesn't mean that you don't care about this other person though. The person on your mind um but there there is another person here you guys and i feel like it's someone that you are very 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 attracted to and it will be really really hard for me to believe that you've never been physical or intimate with this person because of this whoever this other person is i feel like that's heavy on their mind like <laughs> Like they're thinking about the time eighteen eighteen when I looked over. They're 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 thinking about the time that you two were together. No matter how long ago, well, it could have been twenty years ago. They're thinking about the time that you two were together. Okay, intimately, even if it was just one time, uh, Gemini's. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Let me get these handwritten and then I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll just get a few of these because. But baby, uh, somebody's coming for you, Gemini's. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Like I said, whoever was running is about to start chasing. Chasing, competing, um, everything else. Are we really done for good? Let's pull a couple of these. All that. Fighting for you within a week. Something's happening within a week. Take your high rest days with you. Let's make it official. I told you. I told you. Somebody's trying to lock you down, Gemini's. And I feel like they're trying to keep you from being able to move on with somebody else. Because they already know you're a catch, okay? I get lost looking into your eyes. Mm-hmm. That sounds like some Romeo Juliet type shit. Like, <laughs> that might be that other person. <laughs> you remember when... Oh, my money is funny right now. Mm-hmm. Could be the person on your mind, boo. What are you hiding? I told you. I told you, Gemini's. <laughs> I told you. 
yeah this the person on your mind knows something's up again this isn't going to resonate with all of you okay but when you are deeply connected with a person they can feel when your energy is shifted and i feel like some of you your energy has shifted it may not even be on another person for some of you it is like you are you may not love this other person but you're physically uh passionately attracted to this other person um and I said, I'm telling you, I feel like it's you that, that kind of want to bag somebody. <laughs> what did I tell you? When was the last time I pulled this for y'all? Like, be for real. What did I tell you, Gemini's? I told you. Man, look. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Fight for you by Rico Love. I told you. Man, look. Please don't give up on me. Yeah, somebody can see that you're pulling away. And I feel like you you kind of want to drop it low for somebody else. But let me keep him pushing. Um, Walked Out of Heaven by Jack Edge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> let me get one more and get off of here. My love for you will never fade. Oh, I have to add something sweet to the messiness. <laughs> All right, Gemini's. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. I appreciate y'all a ton. Peace out.